All right, hello and welcome back to My Life in the Jungle, also known as Staring at the Ceiling. Today is day seven, and I had a pretty interesting conversation with Maestra Teolinda last night. A um, couple of things that she brought out to me is she said, Tu tiene mucho susto, mucho, mucho susto. It means I have a lot of susto. And susto is, is kind of their word here for trauma that breaks off a fragment of your soul. And the, and the trauma that breaks off your soul leaves you less whole um, as a human being, as a, as a being of consciousness. So in, uh, in the sense, they, she will be working, and the plants will be working with me to try to process the trauma cleanse it and recover the pieces of my soul uh, she said I'm very fearful in ceremony last time we sat together she said uh, she knows she sensed that I had a lot of fear and she's not wrong I've sat with some ayahuasqueros that serve in the United States and their process is very hands-off they will just pour you some medicine and then they'll just sing Icaros all night they don't really intervene. They don't do much of anything to help people process the difficult journeys. And for the most part, just because they can't, they don't know how. They, they didn't have the years and years and years of, of, of ancestral traditional training. They didn't have years and years of dieta with master plants. I mean, they, they're just kind of like ayahuasca light. They're, they, they're, they're more of an entertainer than they are a healer. So I've had some really rough journeys, and with those ayahuascaros who can't really do much except pour and sing, they just, you know, they justify by just saying, well, the medicine wants you to experience this, it's for your own good, it's healing, it's blah, 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 blah. But in reality, there's just nothing they can really do. Uh, with Teolinda, she said, don't worry, here in, in my Maloka, you're safe. Um, uh, we, we are here to protect you, we are here to guide you, let go of your fear and trust. If it gets hard for you, I will, I will guide you out. Uh, I've never had that before, never, uh, actually with, with the exception of Shoni who was able to work me during a really rough period of my journey, which was incredible because at, at one point it felt like there was all these different strings in my body, like on a guitar, all out of tune, all vibrating to different frequencies, I was just out of it completely not not feeling myself nauseous dizzy disoriented anxious and she just came up and just whispered a prayer and brushed me with a feather and it seemed like felt like every string in my body that was just vibrating out of tune all got tuned to the same pitch and everything just settled and calmed and so i know it's possible to bring someone out of a rough journey i just i just didn't ever have that experience before <clears throat> so this time um tomorrow night i'm going to let go of the fear and just let her kind of guide me and you know not worry about being safe or being comfortable just kind of go as deep as i can and trust that if it gets too hard she will she will sing me out of it um the medicine i'll be taking the the master plants i'll be dieting they discovered they decided uh, I will start with ahosacha, and ahosacha is kind of the wild jungle garlic that grows here. Uh, it, is, it is a blood purifier, it uh, re uh, physically and spiritually it breaks habits, breaks addictions, um, opens things up, uh, kind of gets things moving. You know, for me to be able to recover these fragments of my soul that they're talking about, I need to be able to let go uh, of the trauma. And to let go of it, I need to process it, heal it, um, you know, move past it. So Aosacha will help me with that. And then once I am done with Aosacha, I'll begin Bobansana. And the Bobansana is there to just kind of fill my heart with love, you know, get me rooted uh, into my being. And, uh, kind of open me up to growth um, so looking forward to that as well uh, interesting note about um, well I mean I'll discuss that in my next video I guess this will be just about the ceremony and the diet but my next video I'll talk a little bit about the culture here as well